did I choose architecture? Or what inspired? Um, it's kind of funny. Architecture was honestly never on my radar of things that I wanted to do when I was growing up in school. Like I was very into like roller coaster tycoon video games and like Lincoln Logs, I guess. But um, I guess it really just came down to graduating high school and needing a major. And I really, as much as I love music, I was always into it. I, young me just kind of felt like I'm never making it. Like you got to be famous for it. So um, I kind of decided that if I wanted to tune in to kind of what I was doing when I was younger with Lincoln Logs and Legos and just all this kind of stuff, um, that the best thing to try to go into was architecture. And I ended up being pretty good at it. I think I was just mostly inspired by um, being in, in just certain spaces that kind of like make you feel a certain way or like move you or like dark places or light places or like small places. Um, all just kind of different, I guess, environments that architects can kind of help shape. And that kind of ties into my uh, little creative side that I have. go by the name of Kane White, which is my little SoundCloud persona I made up when I was like 14. Uh, Kane White kind of came from nothing, really. I was probably just wearing a white t-shirt that day or something. Um, but I kind of just stuck with it over the last like 10 years or so. And uh, ever since then, I've just been putting out music by myself. So recently, I got this uh, new addition to my setup. It's a looper pedal which basically anything you play, it could keep going, you know, you put it in and it'll just loop it over and over again so you can keep playing on top of it. Basically, it's like an entire band in one little pedal. Um, so I love these guys and I'm about to show you guys uh, how I use it. First guitar, uh, my Fender Squire. Uh, I got it on my dad's birthday for his birthday. So I think it was kind of his own little gift to himself to get his kids to play music. Um, that's kind of how I always thought of it. But um, I don't know, I was shocked when I went down there. He was like, he was, guys, come downstairs. Uh, I got a surprise for you. Meanwhile, I'm ready to like say happy birthday to him. But um, that was awesome, like seeing that stuff down there. Like there were a couple times where my dad would set up things um, in the basement. He would like set up all the amps and guitars and lights and like film us playing pretend down there, just like air guitar. So the fact that I was about to actually learn how to do that instead of just you know, air guitaring this whole time, it was exciting. Um, I don't think I had any idea how much that was gonna impact the rest of my life, to be honest. Um, but that was, that was a cool moment. Anyone that knows me is gonna immediately think I'm gonna say Green Day because that was kind of just the band I listened to growing up my entire life. But like, my musical style really is not shaped at all by Green Day. It's very much shaped by, I guess musicians kind of, I don't know, he's very underground musician, Buckethead. Probably never even heard of this guy, but he's like a guy that, um, he wears this mask and he's bucket on his head. 
every time he performs. No one knows what he looks like because he just doesn't talk, never shows his face, but he's incredible at it. He just plays every genre that you can imagine. It's just moving the way that he plays. Um, and I sort of loved his style always, the way that he kind of can play slow stuff. He could, play, he could just shred on his metal shit. And go heavy on um, things like that. And then, I don't know, I really like the way that I was moved by his music. I, I think that, I think that playing music that doesn't fit a certain genre, like Green Day is very just punk music. That, that's why I really don't stick with it. Playing music that can kind of appeal to everyone is something I'm definitely interested in. I think artists like Buckley are definitely going to get that point across. coming. I'm not doing this shit with Brian here, bro.
So Buckethead, another guy, I guess, um, was a more recent band, Tame Impala, this guy's name is. Actually, his name's Kevin Parker, but he's another solo artist that um, I didn't even know he was a solo artist at first. I kind of just thought it was a band. It just makes all these crazy new age synths and guitars and just very psychedelic light shows kind of music that a lot of a lot of musicians have lost in today's kind of music. Like going back to Pink Floyd, um, all those guys kind of really showcased their psychedelic side, I guess, from drugs and whatever. And I think Tame Impala was kind of learning that it was a solo artist really inspired me to kind of push myself to get new sounds and and different kind of um, just instruments into my music that I, 